In NBA 2K25, the shooting is totally revamped and feels like night and day when compared to previous 2Ks. But what if I told you if you watch this video right here, you will not only learn how you can green your shot way more consistently, but you're gonna remove a lot of the latency that 2K servers have. I play 2K every day for hours and hours, so you will definitely learn by watching this video right here. If you're not hip, a big reason why we miss wide open is because of latency. When you press a button, the player reacts a second later. I'm gonna tell you how you can fix that, right? A huge and underrated thing that helps you shoot better is playing on ethernet cable and a monitor 2k service has a ton of latency so if you're playing on wi-fi and a tv you might as well just turn off your console it's literally night and day difference on how much smoother and more reliable your jump shot feels when you play on ethernet and monitor tvs have about 60 hertz of speed versus a monitor with a speed of 300 hertz combine it with ethernet cable and it's literally a huge difference also bro stick to one jump shot when you find a decent jump shot just stick to it it's never going to feel perfect as long as it feels decent and pretty easy to time just stick with it and practice it over and over it's no use in switching your jumper back to back it will mess up your muscle memory and reset you from the beginning you will get used to it trust me also find a jump shot with good decent grading what i mean by that is when you create a jump shot make sure the grades on the release height release speed defensive immunity and time and stability is no lower than a d i know a lot of youtubers tell you to use f grade jump shots because they got a wider green window but if you think about all the jump shots that are locked under a high shooting attribute they have really high grades especially when your three-pointer goes up to the 90s you will start to see the a plus grades so that should tell you something right there that that's some type of boost to your jump shot right even if it's a five percent boost it is needed especially this year that leads me to shooting boost shooting boost works it is not 2k20 anymore shooting is way too complex to try and run competitive without shooting boost it is known to give you five to ten percent boost to your shot another thing that gives you a five percent boost is hot zones go to lethal shooter and get your high zones if you already did your weekly high zones go to the theater and shoot wide open shots it's way easier to green in theater because of the level of difficulty it's in so you can definitely get your high zones like that as well another underrated thing that no one talks about is play style please stick to one play style there's a reason why all the really good players stick to one position and master it if you're used to pulling up from a step back it's way easier to green that than you trying to back fade from a midi if you're not comfortable right unless you practice it consistently with all the different shot timers i suggest you stick to specific shots that you can remember i think that's really huge and way more efficient than you just going out there and throwing up anything in the air if you do all these tips you will go from shooting 20 percent to at least 50 percent hope you guys enjoyed the video if this video was of any help hit the thumbs up and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments i'll see you guys on the next one man and god bless y'all